guys, Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana, and today I want to talk about Bandy the Armadillo, one of the cutest animals we have. And I gotta say, we've had a few questions about her, which is why I want to do a video on her. Uh, first of all, you're probably wondering why is she in where I'm at right now. You might recognize this as the exhibit where Scout, or Screech Owl, lives, and he's actually right behind me back here. Probably can't see him real well, but he's at, she's actually sharing a house with him right now until we build a bigger house for her. Her house was actually overtaken by the sloth Winston. And so she has moved into here temporarily, but she's actually doing quite well, and Scout seems to like having the roommate. But I want you to notice what she's doing right now. She's curled up under that ball, and she is a southern armadillo, or three-banded. And she's actually the only armadillo species worldwide that can roll into a complete ball like this. So that's kind of unique. But as we sit here and wait for her, she's going to open up, and she's going to become kind of playful and real curious. And that's really what I want to talk about here today. Why is she so playful when she's supposed to be nocturnal? Well, there's a couple reasons for that. The biggest reason is because we feed her during the day. And so it changes her schedule. Just like if you or I were to work the second shift and we went into work at midnight, your body would eventually get used to that schedule and you'd get hungry probably around three in the morning, which isn't typical, but it does happen when your body does something over and over and she is no different. Now, as I open her up here and you can see, she's obviously got those really cool big claws and you're gonna notice that she's a little playful and she's kind of ticklish as well. She enjoys this kind of rubbing her belly here and she kind of you know, we'll pull your fingers in and want more of it. And why is that? Well, I'll tell you, you know, each armadillo I've worked with in my time has been a little different. Some like it, some don't. And believe it or not, animals can have a personality. I know some people don't believe that, but animals can differ in terms of how they respond to different things in their environment, and especially when you bring humans into that. Some animals like that interaction, some don't. And so, I don't know, I tend to chalk that up to be a personality. Some people may disagree with me. That said, these little, our little armadillos, they are ones that, well, if you work with them and you're, and you're around them a lot and you get around to, you know, kind of do some training with them, they can actually be pretty fun and pretty playful little animals. Now, the name armadillo, it's actually Spanish for a little armored one. You can see obviously where she gets the name armored one because of that armor there, that shell three bands, one, two, three, of course, that, that bend, it's actually two domed shells connected by those bands there. And one final thing that I have to mention about this little creature and how neat they are. Well, a lot of people often say they look like a coconut, which I love because of those little bristles that come out of that, that shell there. But I gotta say that that bristles, those hairs, they're sensory hairs. They can actually sense when an animal is close enough to her so she can feel the breathing and she'll know when it's safe to either open up or keep that shell closed. But oh my gosh, what a little cutie. Look at that little nose. Obviously, incredible long tongue. They like to slurp up ants. And by the way, even though she's got those long claws and can dig for ants, they're one of the few armadillos that do not dig burrows. And so that's why they roll up in that ball as a self-defense rather than digging to safety. These guys will often use uh, abandoned burrows to actually hide in. They will not dig their own. But anyway, guys, Bandy, the southern little southern armadillo, what a cutie. And we're going to go ahead and let her get on her merry way. Guys, until next time, I'm Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana.